Gentlemen, good morning. Check weight today, Mickey. How was that? Fight week, fight week. Do you know what? He, he's prepared as always. Phil, I never had a problem with Philip preparing on weight. On every, you know, he's, he is a consummate professional like that. He's fighting a very, very, very tough guy. When I spoke to different people in South Africa, and find out about the guy because there's very little footage available. And straight away, oh, big puncher, big, big puncher. Um, I mean, Phil holds a shot. First time I ever saw him boxed a guy that I was managing called Martin Cray. He was a huge punch, Mark. And Mark hit Phil flush on the chin. Nothing, you know. But um, it's a test. It's a big, big test. And uh, you know, coming off the, the fight with uh, Glenn Foot, you know, me and Phil was like depressed. You know, we were like down, down, down. Then uh, this came up. Phil, Phil bit my hand. So it's a challenge. You're gonna do. It. I've got every faith in it. You know, and I know we, we're gonna see improvement. He didn't take. This is the, the big thing from it. Is it was a ten round fight, but he didn't take a beating. That didn't take anything off his career span. He just, you know, took a headbutt in, not a beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a low blowing and a yeah, no headbutt and an elbowing and everything. I think because of the experience we have looking for. Yeah. Gonna step it up again. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different fight, totally. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, um, I've got a formidable. For an opponent, you know what I mean? He's what 25 and 5, 120, lost 5, 15 knockouts. So the knockout ratio in itself shows that he's a dangerous banger. Do you know what I mean? So hey, how are you beating this guy? I don't know if they look. I don't know about this guy. So I'm going there dark. You know what I mean? I'm going there dark. I'm going there with, 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 with expectations that I'm fighting Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, and, and Joe Fraser 1. Do you know what I mean? I'm just going there as the best I can. guys in the gym that are dirty fighters that are using legal tactics on me and you know so I'm, I'm more equipped for it so at the end of the day you know Saturday night bows as you say quick silver bows 2.0 you know what I mean it's a different situation yeah. your coach Barry Smith is uh, he's very excited he's been yeah, saying yeah. that uh, you've been we might see a different you on Saturday yeah um, is that going to be more like the Luka Leskovic or are you just you are know you going to come at him from no, the word no, go no, no, look for this way it's one of them you just wait and see what happens on the night, you know what I mean? I've got a lot of my arsenal, you know what I mean? Also, you got to remember, we're going into the unknown. We don't know nothing about this guy, so we can't go gun ho, you know what I mean? Gun ho either, so we've got to no, go yeah, in and be smart. The guy, the guy, a lot of gun met for us today. Even we're without, <laughs> without having seen Phil's anything. bringing some firepower Saturday night. <laughs> okay, so Saturday night comes, you've been given a victory, you've stopped him, you've beaten him on points, you've done whatever you need to do to win, which yeah. you're not going to tell me, because you're playing hardball on that one. Yeah. Um, What's your next step? My next step, you know, hopefully, Ben Foot, my old nemesis, he, he beats Jason Easton. I know he's got hard um, ass, like I've got hard ass beating this guy as well. So, you've got hard ass beating Jason Easton. If he does beat Jason Easton, God willing, and God and I get through my um, acid test on Saturday, then there's a potential rematch for the Commonwealth title. I'm sure Mick can pull the strings and, you know, work his. Yeah, work I mean, the Mickey Helliot magic. Yeah. No, I think let's just get Saturday done because you lose on Saturday. Where do we go? There's nowhere. That's what I'm saying. I don't jump. I don't. I don't ever jump the gun. You know? yeah, I, mean, yeah, I don't yeah. ever think about the next fight. I always think about the, just yeah. one. But fight you, I mean, you and you, you, you were desperate for a big fight. You were offered that you can have a ticking over fight, and yeah, we'll see easy, where. Yeah, and you why, said no. Why, I don't want no, that. I don't want. I don't want a ticking over fight. There's no need for that. Like I'm, I'm up there in, in the top, like, in the top 15, 15 top, top 10 this country. I don't need to be having. Um, learning kind of fights. Why? Do you mean? I'm, I'm in there with the. I can't. No, I can't. No, 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 no
think I walked away from it a little bit uh, well, very deflated because I know he could have won that and I don't exactly blame myself but I know if he'd have had another fight like that before this fight he could have got it but we wanted to fight for that title until we rolled the dice he wasn't far off and I think he, like I say he has that fight again the last three rounds I think you'll see him he's got a yeah. no question about it you've got a big stamp for it don't you yeah, so when those last three rounds come up if it goes that far then you, you, I think we'll see a different Phil Bowes certainly the last sort of second half of the fight if he goes to the second half Phil can punch himself the record doesn't show it up but I can't punch I have no doubt about that whatsoever yeah, when, when my guys box people I always go and question the opponent because so you, you pick up so much information of what their strong points that you can't see in the gym because the fight is different from sparring and everyone says Phil can dig so you know, just having that confidence to maybe stand that little second and against the guy that punches maybe you know you don't want him necessarily certainly the first half of the fight he's standing with him maybe he blocks him. You know, see look this is this is high stakes this is like you know, he wins he's right right back in the mix could be a very very exciting year for Phil Bowes that hopefully hopefully it will be I'm sure it yeah. will looking forward to it that it's starts gone, Saturday by focus grace, by God's grace definitely focus on Saturday let's get that done yeah Phil, Mickey, thank you for talking to me Saturday night.